taller from the halfway into the ceiling, because I'm very tall because I have massive shoes on today. Well, hi everyone, because I'm up really high. I don't know, we did a shoot last week, I'm pretty sure it was. And it was just a pretty simple, kind of grungy fashion set up with myself. And we thought that we would kind of recreate it in a tutorial, but we're going to use different, slightly different gear. So it's still the same kind of concept, but instead of using a big mega boom with a, um, with a bronze color pack, we're just going to use a softbox and a pro photo light just on a regular old stand. I'll show you how to get the similar effect. I think I didn't rehearse any of this, so I don't know if that's what we're doing or not. You didn't even ask me what we were doing. I didn't even ask what we were doing, so I'm just making this up as like, oh, I could be completely wrong. I thought that's what we were doing there. <laughs> so I don't know if that's what we're doing or not. Wait, is my sound on? Yeah, it is. Um, is that what we're doing? Or do I need to start this again? No, it's all right. You can just <laughs> head everybody in the wrong direction. So that's not what we're doing. They'll find out by the end. Oh, okay, keep oh, watching. Another one. Keep watching. <laughs> Keep watching. Yes, no, please. we don't do that shit. Sure. <laughs> I'll throw it to Peter because obviously I'm wrong. <laughs> cool. So the other day, um, <laughs> because I'm going back to my roots and doing the stuff I really love doing, and it's fashion's one of them. And when I first met Beck, I was shooting her as a fashion model, mm -hmm. and we decided let's go back fashion. So we did a shoot the other day, it's been up on Insta and things like that. And we decided to redo it, but I wanted to teach you a couple of things while we're redoing it. So number one, I've just gone down, we've got a Profoto D2. I know they're not super cheap, but they're not like I think super expensive light. We just put on a little C stand. So we try to dumb everything down. All right, my Hasselblad is a Hasselblad. But seriously, go on eBay, look how cheap you can buy a Hasselblad. So they're not that super expensive camera anymore. Even though you're gonna pick them up for around the three to five, it's, that's around about what a Sony and a high-end Canon is gonna cost, so it's about the same. Um, so what we're gonna do is fashion, but what I really wanna go into is talking about lens selection. Oh, that's right. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Trained her very well. Uh, by the way, it's one day after a long weekend where Beck's been drinking all weekend. So I drink it. Uh, yeah, no, I have been. Yeah, have been. <laughs> <laughs> Should see her bruises. Um, <laughs> so what I want to do is go through and show you the difference. And one thing I love doing when I'm shooting fashion is shoot wide. So I'm just going to start off with my 80 mil, which is like a 65 on the Hasselblad and then I'm gonna go wider to show the effect. I'm also gonna try and show you how to do like my halo with lighting rather than your friends outside. <laughs> uh, your lighting with, oh, sorry. show you doing the halo with lights. Oh. <laughs> Can you get your fan club to go away? <laughs> Beck and her crow fans. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, right. So, where was I? You're going to show them how to oh. do your halo with lighting, because lighting. not everyone has a house of light, not yeah. everyone has focus. Yeah, and you can't do the halo in Capture One. So we're going to show you how to get around it. So that. get around it, yeah. But you're struggling to stand, aren't you? No, I'm fine. You're wobbling a lot. I'm fine. Lucky there's a stabiliser on gimbal. Yes, there is. Lucky there's no stairs. All right. so, 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 oh, do you want to put that oh, to your right. positions? Okay, so we're going to get back to just sit on her boxes. And I've already done a pre, it's just a single shot, um, which is a test shot, but I'll just get a focus on this and shoot it. Cool, so I'm just gonna do the test shot. Cool, nice. And this is just to get my lighting. So bang, there's the shot. So like I said, I'd, take, I'd taken a, a previous shot beforehand. Um, I'm shooting at f7.1, hundredth of second, second at, um, 160th of a second. Cool. So with this shot, I'm happy with this. I think I've got plenty of headroom on this. Oops, I need to put overexposure warning on. And going off at about half a stop. So for me, that's enough room for me to work around and play with this shot. What I'm going to do now is I might just make it mine. Pretty much if I just do my black and white, I'll be definitely green channel, yep. Um, I'll put a bit of a down curve on this. I will throw a bit of shadow fill to fix the down curve just so I get detail in my blacks. Uh, throw a little bit of contrast in to get some edge in this. 
and I'll do clarity now. I'll show you the trick at the end without clarity. So I'll do everything with my clarity and this is why I love focus. Look, at me, look how I can just pop this up with this gorgeous pop. I can throw a little bit more of that in and a little bit more down. I'm just doing this to my eye. I just want to make sure I see detail in my blacks. That's what I'm mainly concerned about when I pop this out. In fact, I really like the clarity over push. This halo thing, no. I'll take it back this, I'll take it back just for Dave. And throw a little bit more contrast. And there's my shot. And this was shot with the 80 mil. Now I'm gonna show you what happens if I change my 80 mil, which is about a 65 on a DSLR, to a 50 mil, which is gonna be more like maybe a 40 mil on a DSLR. And then I get Supermodel to come in and get on her seat. Just making sure it looks good. With this, because I'm wider, I can come a little bit closer. Oh. So trying to not get the background in shot. Nice. So cool. So now you'll see the difference. You'll see how this has got this more depthy type of picture. And especially with things with legs and that, this adds a lot, especially in fashion. I love using wider angles on the fashion shots. I might just take a couple more pictures and that and just get back to bury her legs a little bit towards the camera. That's cool. That's really cool. Nice. Awesome. Cool. Cool. That's really cool. Cool. Beautiful. So you'll see it gives us this beautiful surreal effect with the wider angle lens. So now I'm going to take this to a 35 which is going to be more like a sort of a 27. You look so lanky. Oh my God. <laughs> We're going to have to record you running one day. Oh, no. Yes. No one needs to see what I look like when Especially I run. Especially when a car's about to run into you, it's even funnier. No one needs to know what I look like when I run. So now with this wider angle, and this is when I start to have troubles with backgrounds because they fall off really quick. Uh, they come into the shot really quick. That's cool. That's really cool. Awesome, awesome. Fashion attitude. That's better. Nice, 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 nice. Cool, cool. Haven't looked at a shot yet, but let's see what we've got. Yeah, cool. The difference is massive when we compare that to something like that. See how elongated we've got the legs and everything. Yes. Oh yes. Beck loves it because it's like taking 10 stone off <laughs> or pounds or whatever you weigh yourself today. And this is a really cool shot. I love it, but look at the attitude that comes into that shot there. So we might just do a couple more on this. So but just get back to pose up. Cool, cool, cool. That's really cool. Attitude into the camera with the eyes. Awesome. Cool, awesome, beautiful, beautiful, cool. We can really elongate these legs heaps, awesome. That's really pretty, that's cool. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. That's cool, I like that, that's really cool. Nice, nice. With fashion's a bit different, I don't want thoughts, like just with eyes, just that cutting attitude there. Cool, beautiful, beautiful. Stunning, stunning, stunning. So as I said before, all right, so what I want to do now, I can't get the whole halo happening, but I'll try and do partly halo. So I'm gonna drop a little D10 in here. I've got a large grid on this and some barn doors. I might start this at about 6.5. Might just barn door this in a little bit. I'll leave it coming out this way. I might leave my settings as they are and then I'm going to adjust the picture based on that backlight coming onto the picture. So far to get down to the box because of my heels. Oh, one more. Cool. I'm just after a cool shot to do the edits there. Nice. Nice. 
So I take a few, just it's easier to edit on a cooler shot. Now the halo in this light is taking us over the top. If I pull the halo out, we're gonna lose, um, so the clarity we're gonna lose on her face, but then I've got things to fix that back up again. So if we take that back, that is without any clarity, but now we have that highlight behind her. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna bring a little bit more shadow fill in and you'll see that's automatically popping that halo out a bit. I'm gonna put a bit of contrast in because I've got my highlight alerts on and because we put this down curve on, I can actually bring my exposure slider up to pop back up and I've got a fair bit of room to do that. See how it's still not even cooking until we get to there, but I don't wanna take it that high. I'm just gonna bring it to about Maybe about there. So, oh, clarity, get rid of clarity. Why did I put move that up? I wanted that up. Wrong one. Grumpies. Grumpies, there we go. So I'll put a, that's better. So pull that down a bit and I'm gonna throw more vignetting in to force this to go off. And that's giving me a little bit like what I had with clarity. Now I'm just gonna vary this a bit. I want that light to spread a touch more and maybe a touch lower. So I'm turning, I'm going to put a little bit more power on this. So I've gone from 6.5 to seven. Might just change a touch more. I want to get a little bit more height as well. And while I'm putting more height on, that's going to spread the beam wider. It's a long way down. It is. It's hard life being a six foot six. Cool, cool, nice. Splattitude, that's better. Fashion, pull and tighten every muscle, that's better. Tighten it up, cool, 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 that'll do. Okay, so let's find one with clarity slider. All right, so that's with clarity slider. And that's with the lighting change. We've also got a little bit too much contrast on that. Let's get that better. That's sort of a way that you can get that look that I get using just the clarity slider into your shots without having to own a Hasselblad or Focus software. The lens choice, you'll see it makes a much more lanky with this lens and we use this a lot in fashion. There's a couple of photographers that I, um, I follow quite a bit that shoot a lot with even going wider. They go to equivalent of even a 16 mil for fashion to get this elongation of legs and stuff like that. I look so skinny. You like it just for your skinniness. <laughs> Do you want to rock me out a thumbnail? Rock you out a thumbnail? Yeah. yeah. Strong, cool, 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 cool. I like that. Nice, nice, nice. Nice, that's really cool. Work those eyes. So I'm just wanting a, a thumbnail shot. So I just want, that's cool, I liked with the bent. Cool, I like that, that's really cool, that's really cool. Cool. I reckon we got it. You reckon we got it? I reckon we got it. You reckon? Cool. Hiding behind. Yeah. Now the lighting's really bad. Come out and get some better light on your face. I just want everyone to see you awkwardly walk. Oh. <laughs> well. okay. So that was our little simple fashion set up. So if you are one of the people that have been asking us how you can get the same halo effect as Peter, but you don't have a house of blood, then I hope this helps with figuring out how to do that. Cause you can't do it in capture one, but you can just use another light to do so. It's still, I'll do a little bit more work in Photoshop as well. That as well. And just some layers. For and your, people who have your any crows couple. on the roof. I do, my friends. The crow. If you also are struggling with any other lighting things or want to know more about posing or know more about lighting and working with models, I don't. I don't know where I'm going. I'm so tired. My brain doesn't work properly. Anyways, where You're I was going to is that we have Inspire. Yay. So that has a of videos that are really in-depth or stuff that we also don't have on YouTube. And that is in the description below. And we have more content coming soon.
So keep coming with your suggestions and your comments. Any of those, leave them below. Any questions, leave them below. Send us an email, sign up to our mailing list, join our Facebook group. I think that's all that I have to cover. Oh, now is the time that I'll be putting up links to other videos that we have. I'm not sure. I'm missing nails, so I don't want to... Show me your nails. Oh, I'm missing them. I fell over and I whacked my fell hands over. and they broke. So, anyways, I'll put videos up now and we'll see you soon. Thanks for joining us. Bye. Tons. Tons.